In this lecture, you'll see a demo of how to carry out an ONTAP upgrade. And it's actually taken from a real-world deployment because upgrades aren't really supported in the simulator. So in this real-world deployment, the NetApp storage system was upgraded from ONTAP 8.3 up to version 9.2. In the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to get your upgrade plan. And when I recorded that, the system had already been upgraded to 9.2. So I'll be talking about going from 9.2 up to 9.3, 9.4. The second part of the video is a recording of the actual upgrade from 8.3 up to ONTAP 9.2. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is get my upgrade plan. So I'm logged into the NetApp support site here and I'm going to go to Active IQ. And then when Active IQ opens, I'll go to the flyout menu here on the left and select Upgrade Advisor. I then enter the serial numbers of the system that I want to upgrade and click on Next. It will then give me details of the system, including the current ONTAP version. And then over just to the right of that, you can see the target version. Now, this will automatically select the highest version that you can upgrade to. So from 9.2, the highest version I can go to is 9.3 P5. I can upgrade to 9.4, but not in one go. So you can't upgrade from 9.2 straight to 9.4. You can go from 9.2 to 9.3 P5. When you've done that, you could then come back here and get a plan to upgrade from 9.3 to 9.4. So I'm happy I'm going to upgrade from 9.2 to 9.3. So I will click on Next. Then I enter my email address in at the bottom. And up at the top here, yes, I do want it to be ANDU, the Automatic Non-Disruptive Upgrade. I don't need to have repeated instructions for the HA partner. That's not required here. And yes, I will want to see the revert plan as well in case there's any issues. Then in the PDF, it will tell me how I can back out back to the previous version again. In the example, it is a two node cluster. So the only option for the upgrade type is rolling. I could have had a batch upgrade if I had eight or more nodes. I've only got two here. The method is going to be HTTP. I'm going to download the ONTAP image onto an HTTP server and use that for the upgrade. And the format, I can select either PDF or Excel. I'm happy with PDF. So I will then click on Generate. It tells me the request has been submitted and I need to check in the Upgrade Request Status tab. I can see it's currently requested. What I want to do is refresh the page here it will take maybe a couple of minutes. When I see that it is completed, I'll be able to download the PDF from here. So I'll pause the video for a second while I'm waiting for the upgrade plan to complete. And click refresh again. I can now see that it is completed, so it's ready to download. I need to click the radio button here and then download the plan. And I'll download that to my downloads folder and open up the PDF. And there you can see there is my upgrade plan. So this tells me all of the steps that I need to do to complete the upgrade. It tells me the manual checks to do before I run ANDU in System Manager as well. Okay, so that is how you get your upgrade plan. Obviously read that before you do the upgrade. You wanna read the release notes as well. Okay, next thing to do is I'm going to download the ONTAP image. So to do that, I will go back to the support site. So let me just go to netapp.com and then I will sign in, go to the support site, and then go to downloads and I'm downloading the software. Then it is on tap that I want to download. So I will select my platform 
The upgrade in the demo was on a FAS 2554. I'll select that and click on go. And then there is the different on tap images that I can download. We were doing an upgrade from 8.3 to 9.1 in the actual demo that you'll see coming up. So let's say I was going to download on tap 9.1. I would click on view and download. Then on this page, you can see this is where you can download the release notes, also the upgrade express guide, which again walks you through what you need to do for the upgrade. And then I can go down here and continue to download the software. Once I've done that, I'm going to need to copy it over onto my HTTP server. So I'll do that next. So I'm going onto my HTTP server now. This is not software from NetApp. You can use any software that you want. I click to add files and I'm going to add those on tap images that I downloaded onto the HTTP server. So I copy them to the HTTP server. And now if you look where it says open in browser, that shows me the URL. So I'm going to copy that so that I can paste it in on the NetApp storage system to download it to the cluster. So I log into my NetApp system next. Then I go to the cluster update page that launches the ANDU wizard in system manager. First part is select which is where you can select the actual on tap image that you're going to be upgrading to. And what happens here is it gets downloaded from the HTTP server. So I paste in the URL and then it's now being downloaded to my NetApp storage system. This will take a little bit of time. So I wait for that to complete. When it's done, I can see that I get the verification message that the software image has been added. And there is that 9.1 on tap image is now available. So I can click on next to move to the second part of the wizard, which is validate. I click on the validate button and the system will now run through several self checks to validate the health of the cluster. And you're either going to get error or warning messages here. If there's any error messages, they are serious and you need to fix them before you can move on. If you get warning messages, then check what they are, take any remedial action that is required, but typically they're not going to prevent you from moving on with the upgrade. So I've got a couple of normal warning messages there. I check that everything is okay and I can click on next. And that takes me to the final third step of the wizard, which is actually doing the update. So I click on the update button. I'm going to accept all of the defaults here. And what's going to happen now is it's actually going to run through another validation, even though that was just done a second ago in the second step. So the validation will be done again now. I'm expecting to get the same warning messages here. So again, review the warning messages. And if everything is OK, you can tick the continue update with warnings checkbox to acknowledge them and the system will move on and actually do the update. You can see the estimated time here is around 90 minutes. It actually takes about 30 minutes per node. So I'll leave it to run for about an hour and a half. And then you will be automatically logged out. I then come back and I log back into the system to check that the upgrade went OK. I go back on to the cluster update page and you can see now that previously the cluster was on version 8.3. We've now upgraded to version 9.1. So that's all there is to it. That is how you complete the upgrade. In the example, we went from on tap 8.3 up to 9.2. It's not possible to do that in one go. You have to go from 8.3. You can then go to 9.1. You don't have to go to 9.0. You can go from 8.3 to 9.1, and then from there, go from 9.1 to 9.2. So we've already upgraded from 8.3 to 9.1 here. To go from 9.1 to 9.2, the process is exactly the same run through the three steps of the wizard again, where you select the on tap image, then validate the health of the cluster and then do the update. So we did that and this system was then on version 9.2. This also upgrades the system, the disk and the disk shelf firmware. Okay, that's it for upgrades. See you in the next lecture.